Hello, friends. We are back with Dr. Ryan Cook to talk about the September issue of Today in the Word, Who is God? Images of God in the Old Testament. Welcome, Ryan. Thank you for having me again. Yes. Dr. Ryan Cook is professor of Bible at Moody Theological Seminary, and he's written several devotionals for us. Um, we hope you're enjoying this one, which is kind of taking a deep dive into the pictures of God that are presented to us in the Old Testament, um, metaphors that help us better um, and more completely understand God. Um, but today I wanted to talk a little bit about what we sometimes get wrong about God when we picture God. Um, Ryan and I have both mentioned in an earlier conversation that this this type of study stretches us. But but let's talk about that, Ryan. What what do you think um, we sometimes get wrong about God right out of the box? I think one of the things that is easy to get wrong is to take one of these images from God for God and make that the only lens mm-hmm. you really see God through. And that can lead you to a skewed perspective, not because that image is wrong, but because it's not balanced by all these other images in scripture. Um, I know when I was uh, a kid growing up, my, one of my dominant images in my mind of God was that God is a judge, which mm-hmm. is a, certainly a true image. But my picture was God sort of dispassionately sitting up there, you know, waiting for you to do something wrong and dispassionately dispensing justice. And it's kind of a cold, in some ways it's kind yeah. of a cold metaphor. And, um, it was so encouraging to read the image of God as a husband, which is a much closer metaphor. And in the book of Hosea, there's this uh, scene where God is just heartbroken over the waywardness Mm -hmm. of his people. And it made me realize that it's not just this image of God as a judge saying, oh, you did something wrong. You're going to be, you know, condemned for it. But also as a husband, when we do things that are disobedient to God, there's a deep relational hurt that takes place for God as well. And it just reminded me of that. Um, That helps me understand that personal relationship with God better. And we need both those images, God as judge and God as husband. Yeah. I mean, if you think about that as in um, fiction writing, we talk about flat stereotypical characters. So there's the bank robber and that's his only role is to be a bank robber. And we don't know anything else about him. Um, It's the same way we can sometimes do with God where we flattened him out into one thing. Right. Right. Yeah. And that can be really dangerous. And I, I think in our cultural context, we probably lean towards viewing God as primarily images related to love and accepting and, um, and that sort of thing. And that, of course, is true. But sometimes we miss the, the other metaphors for God that are or images of God that are equally important. Yeah, there's a there's some that we might even be a little bit uncomfortable with, um, but that doesn't mean that God isn't that. We aren't in charge of who God is. Um, right. You know, we we aren't shaping God into our own like visual of this is our preferred idea of God. <laughs> we're we're looking at we're trying to grasp the reality of who He is in all of His fullness. There's this uh, another great image in the prophets uh, in the second half of this devotional where. Um, Israel is being, you know, threatened by the Assyrians and they're tempted to go to Egypt to get help. And God says, no, you know, you don't have to go to them. I'll be your protector. Mm. It's just like, you know, imagine a lion um, crouching over its prey and shepherds are trying to take the prey from the lion. They're not going to get the prey, right? They're not going to be able to drive the lion off. In the same way, God said, I'm going to protect you in this situation or as a bird protecting its, its, uh, its chicks. And I don't know if you've ever had this experience. We have these red winged blackbirds behind our house Mm -hmm. and there's a certain time of the year like in the spring anytime i go out and walk around the the bike path outside our house i'll get dive bombed by these (laughs) red winged blackbirds and i think of that of that image of god as being that protective bird like hey stay away i'm protecting my children in this in this situation i'm not letting anything happen i mean how wonderful to think of ourselves is that that bird of the dust where the mom is just diving into (laughs) to rescue us and and save us um that we aren't alone and that we're being cared for i i think that's such a countercultural thing i was watching a show the other day that was talking about god and it doesn't happen often in regular television um, series, but they were talking about God as a God who was somewhat distant off there somewhere and a little bit inept, almost like the God was trying his best. Um, and, and I thought, wow, it, it'd be really easy to let 
these cultural voices shape who we think God is. So to return to scripture here is so important for mm -hmm. us today to, to get a proper perception of God. Yeah. And the, I'm just thinking of that image of God feeling distant mm -hmm. and the psalmists often feel that way and yeah. they can vocalize that to God. But one of these, one of the things that these images of God teach us is that God certainly isn't distant, that he is involved right. in creation. He wants to communicate to us uh, who he is. And that of course really comes to its, its culmination in the coming of the Lord Jesus, who yes. that's the furthest thing from distant you can be, right? right. right from being among us, taking on uh, human flesh. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's the God we worship, not some distant, abstract, incompetent God that maybe the, the culture likes to, to envision. Or sometimes in the culture, I've heard people say, well, we can't know who a God is like. God's just mm -hmm. unknown. There might be a God, but we can't know anything about what God yeah. is like. And again, that's so far from the truth. Uh, the God God is a very communicative God. When you read scripture, he's he's trying all kinds of different ways to teach us who he is and what he's like. Yeah, he, you know, Roman says he's clearly revealed himself to us through creation. Um, mm -hmm. So so you do see pictures of God outside in the world around us and in the pages of his word. Um, right. So I think that we, you know, it says we're without excuse that we can know God. So I think that's an exciting thing and also a challenge to us. Yeah, and it's a, an invitation to keep pursuing mm -hmm. knowledge of God as we look out in the world around us and certainly as we dig into scripture together. Very good. So we'd love to know which image of God so far has resonated with you in this study, or maybe you just have one that you've clung to from the pages of scripture. So write that in the comments below. And thank you for joining us. And please like this video. That helps us um, stay populated on YouTube. So we, if you like it and subscribe, you'll help us reach more people. Thank you for studying God's word with us and um, have a wonderful day.